What up, everyone? Welcome to Chicago. As you can see behind me, we got Lake Michigan. We got the downtown skyline. You know me, Alan Sakian. I'm here in the summer. We are crewing for Tony Robbins at his Unleash the Power Within event, passing some time with some close family friends, doing some interviews, you know, thinking a lot about time. I'm excited to be releasing that book and videos about time very, very soon. I have some thoughts about society that I want to share. Thoughts on civilization, thoughts about society. As we look around us, we don't even realize to the full extent what's going on. We're more so captivated by the short-term dopaminergic hijacks that are going on. We're not even aware of them, as in these little quickie, short-term gratifying bursts of goodness that happen in our head rather than thinking in the long term. So for take an example, I was just at a fast food restaurant like a week ago or something like that. And I posted this video when I was just observing. I observed for like 10 minutes because I just wanted to watch all of the processes that were going on in the back. And I had this clear view to the back. There were like 10 employees. A bunch of them were flipping burgers, putting lettuce on a burger. Uh, There were people doing potatoes for French fries. There were people at the cash register, people packaging all of this stuff, wrapping it. And I was just thinking, damn, this is going to be automated. And this is a lot of fucking jobs. And we're not even preparing ourselves for it. It's the worst thing ever when civilization is in the middle of political gridlock between two very... You only get to talk about so little on the political spectrum. The red and the blue, and it's in gridlock, and it's barely progressing. It is a little, but barely. And then you have this fucking monster force of AI and robotics that's just fucking about to take over the entire economy. And we're not even talking about that as much. When was the last time that Congress made a full week-long fiasco about AI and robotics and how we needed to restructure our government and civilization and society to be prepared for the next five years and ten years. We're not. We're not. There's already coffee and, and tea robots that are inside of stores in San Francisco. There's already a burger machine that's being developed in San Francisco that's already ready to go and putting put into restaurant and this is just these measly little retail things we already see all these positions being automated we already know the list even doctors aren't safe medical record scanning um, medical diagnostic scanning we know this whole list autonomous vehicles trucks and taxi cabs i mean we just look around and we don't think twice We don't. We don't think twice about the millions of jobs that are going to be lost and what's going to replace them. Are we retraining people for those replacement jobs? So it's become one of my missions to help society realize what the fuck's going on. Because if we don't, we're in a really shitty place. We can't be so trapped by the little tiny bit of conversation that Fox News and CNN enable us to have. We got to expand our awareness. We got to enrich our minds to new dimensions of thought and consciousness that are going to enable us to have the foresight to see AI and robotics and the effect that that's going to have on us. We got to be prepared. We have to be prepared. Otherwise, we're going to experience some major suffering, some huge economic and political turmoil across the world. And I am not okay with that. I want to bring this foresight and enrich more people. I know a lot of people are thinking about it. This is just one of many things that I've learned that I have a good amount of foresight about. Another thing that I think I have a good amount of foresight about is what's going on with blockchain and cryptocurrency. There's a whole revolution. Whatever is going to happen to fiat currency or paper money that has been enabling 
us to exchange these sheets of paper for services and goods, which has been fantastic. It's enabled us to achieve so much with our economy and progressing civilization moving forward. And it's been thanks to the centralized banking system that we believe has been implemented by the Rothschilds in all these countries, and then circulate that money that enables people to do all these different things that people work for, they earn, and then they go spend. But this is about to be flipped on its head. Who knows? Maybe Satoshi Nakamoto was, uh, maybe that was a Rothschild. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're the ones that eked out cryptocurrency because they knew it would be inevitable blockchains. So we never know. We'll never know. Maybe we'll know later. Who knows? But right now, it's 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 a major transition into that field, and we have no idea where that's going to take us. None. None. We don't know how fiat currency is going to die and how stably it's going to die without suffering or major issues and how cryptocurrency is going to rank up above all else and how that is going to affect things like wealth inequality, how that's going to affect things like maybe the way that uh, people of lower socioeconomic status can now become investors, which is very interesting. There's not so many regulations that only the rich can invest. So this is all very, very interesting. And that's having a major play here. So is biotechnology. We're now sequencing the every letter of our own genomes as well as understanding the code of life just in general and what is that enabling us to do like eradicate disease we can now design children that are being born into the world to have specific traits that we want and china doesn't have regulations on this so they're going full-fledged full speed moving forward recently i heard they were taking the eggs from women of the same woman and impregnating them with the sperm of the same man and then letting it populate to about 16 cells and then taking those cells, one cell from each of these different babies that was slowly being born and that they would sequence it. And the one that had about 40 or so genes, they think, are the ones that signal intelligence. They found the one with the greatest signal for intelligence and they threw away the rest of the 16, these little 16 group cells, the rest of those kids and let the one continue growing. That was most intelligent. And this is very interesting because we are moving into a new era of humanity, a new era of civilization. And we're not talking about this. When was the last time that Congress had a conversation about genetic engineering and the impact that it's going to have on civilization. Why are we not talking about these things? It's very frustrating. And there's so much more neurotech plugging brain computer interfaces. I am so concerned about where we're going with that because it just gives people a direct plug into the mind yeah it'd be great to just think thoughts and send messages and phone calls and and get wikipedia directly and download it into my brain and all this good stuff but also makes controlling people very easy we just need to have better foresight. We need to look at civilization and we need to look at exponential technology and we need to realize where things are going and make the proper moves today to prevent massive suffering and issue moving forward. Come on, let's get our shit together. So it's great seeing Africa eradicate a lot of suffering, gain a lot of more progressive principles and uh, capitalistic principles and enable them to skyrocket and jump forward. That's been great to see that happen. Um, and it seems like the world is slowly globalizing and realizing how to work together. We sure do hope so. The rock's very small. We got to figure out how to work together on this rock. Only takes 40 days to sail around the whole rock. Thanks everyone for tuning in about these thoughts on civilization and these thoughts on society. Hope you guys had a good time. If you learned something new, pass it along to two people. Have them pass it along to two people. Let's get more conversation going like this. Much love, everyone. Greatly appreciate you tuning in. Join us on Simulation Series on YouTube and on Patreon. We'd love to continue having your support. Bless Chicago and bless Lake Michigan. This is a really beautiful place. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Much love.